10. We remain committed to delivering governance that is based on values, ethics, and standards in public life. Your government will put you, the people first, in every decision. We won't turn our backs on you. We are here for you. We thank you for your support. We ask that you continue to hold us to account and we continue to proudly serve you. Our future is bright together. Nine. The government of St. Lucia is taking significant steps to protect the Peter Management Area or the PMA, a recognized World Heritage Site since 2004. The government has now made it a legally protected environmental protection area, EPA, through statutory instrument number 7, 2024. This is one of the most significant um, achievements in the last 20 years. Um, ever since the Peter Management Area was designated a World Heritage Site. And so what this um, statutory instrument has done is to give us those legal legs to stand on in decision making in protecting the patrimony of St. Lucia. Eight. Infrastructure 2030 was a brainchild of Senior Minister Honorable Stevenson King, who had a vision to develop a holistic plan for all our infrastructural needs thereby addressing the perennial deficiencies that keep surfacing year after year. I embrace and look forward to the full implementation of Infrastructure 2030 to give support to other agencies, to energize other units, and to make this initiative a full national initiative. So in building our plans, in dealing with our infrastructure going forward, we have to ensure that built in there is resilience for climate change. Seven. Africa and the Caribbean share the significant impacts of climate change. We are seeing an increased rate of the warming of our planet, leading to desertification, drought, and water scarcity. Countries in the Caribbean and in Africa are essentially being told to adapt and become more resilient to climate change. However, Telling countries that are already struggling to overcome years of systemic poverty and exploitation that they must be resilient is like telling the fish it needs to start learning to walk on land. Our people were heartened when, at COP28, it was agreed that a loss and damage fund would be established and financed. However, as I speak, the fund has not received many of the promises. Six. The Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security and Rural Development collaborated with West Caribbean on the Sustainable Agriculture in the Caribbean SAC project to organize a bias symposium providing farmers and suppliers with valuable insights into market demands, packaging, quality expectations and networking opportunities to enhance sales and profitability. It is important to build your level of entrepreneurship so that you can compete more effectively. And we therefore would like to promote, of course, some strong productive alliances between you rural producers, farmers' organizations, and the buyers who are here today. Five. Recognizing the need for relevant data and information on the structure of the agriculture sector, the Ministry of Agriculture, Fisheries, Food Security, and Rural Development has launched a new census of agriculture and fisheries. The census of, of agriculture and fisheries will reveal a statistical picture of agricultural and fisheries landscape in St. Lucia. I must emphasize that authenticity of the data provided by all farmers and fishers operating in St. Lucia is fundamental. Four. Wards of the island's lone juvenile rehabilitative institution, the Boys Training Center, have benefited from the transformative two-day drug awareness and internet safety seminar to educate and empower young men about the dangers of drug and alcohol abuse. I hope this training opens your eyes to the needs of making responsible decisions when it comes to using drugs and alcohol. The theme, improving midwifery competencies in achieving universal health coverage, aligns perfectly with the Ministry of Health and by extension, 
the government of St. Lucia's strategic direction towards universal health coverage. Providing quality health services where and when persons need it without the risk of financial hardship is the key component of universal health coverage. Two. Throughout this campaign, we're not just spreading awareness, we're turning learning about vectors into an adventure worth remembering. It truly takes a community effort because if uh, you alone are going to keep your premises clean and your neighbors 10 houses away, the premises uh, unkept, uh, they can very well be breeding uh, mosquitoes uh, that travels from their house to yours. One.